So I think it is true to say that there's a growing number of, of atheist and agnostic thinkers who are expressing skepticism about the sort of Darwinian, neo-Darwinian picture of things. Uh, and I think that's due to growth of scientific knowledge about just how specifically complex uh, life and the universe uh, are. Um, that uh, the notion that we could explain, say, um, the origin of life, of some sort of organism capable of undergoing a process of evolution by natural selection. You first of all have to have something that reproduces, passes on information in, in slightly different ways and so on. How do you get that life to begin with? Um, the idea that you can give some sort of reductive explanation of life it just in terms of uh, the natural forces inherent within the material world. Uh, now, in light of our knowledge about what life is, uh, seems to be rather like trying to explain a novel uh, by ref reference to uh, the laws of how ink sticks to paper. Uh, you need to know those laws to understand understand and explain the, the novel in your hands, but it's, it's just not enough. Uh, obviously, you need to bring in something else. Um, now, I would say, actually, that something else, pretty obviously from experience, is intelligence. Uh, intelligence produces this information or this, this specified complexity of the, the writing in a novel. And life has been shown by modern knowledge to contain information uh, in the, the arrangement of the amino acids in, in DNA, uh, for example. Uh, how, can you really explain that information, that specified complexity, just in terms of, of law and chance? Or That seems increasingly implausible the more we realize that there's this high level of specified complexity within life.